that was enough for me. And I have never looked back. I am so delighted and inspired by the work that they do here and how they use. Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And we're taking another look at the RTL-SDR.com SDR radio. And uh, I've, I've got a couple of uh, videos about this a um, couple of shows ago and uh, described what it is. It's You can get this off of Amazon for $24.95, $24.95. And it will tune from, I believe, 500 kilohertz to like 1.2 gigahertz. Now, tuning that wide band, you have to select two different modes of operation. If you're tuning below 30 megahertz, you have to put it in what's direct, what's called direct tuning mode, and specifically the Q mode. And so you can tune down below that. You don't have to do any frequency shifting. It's all taken care of. And then if you want to tune above 30 megahertz, then you would turn that direct tuning mode off, and then it would be tuning uh, above 30 megahertz. And you, like I say, you just plug in the frequencies. You don't have to do any uh, offset or adjustment or anything. So right now, I've shown you in the past, I've shown you its capability on the shortwave bands. This morning, I want to show you just briefly its capability on the VHF, UHF bands, and specifically what I'm going to show, what I'm showing you right now, is in the standard FM band. And I'm using, and let me see if I can show it on the screen. Let me move the camera a little bit. Okay, up there, way up there, you can see maybe this antenna right here. This is a telescopic antenna, one of the two that comes with the radio. Radio comes with a short one, it's about two feet long, extends to about two feet, and then this long one which extends to about three feet. I'm using the long one, the, and it's got a magnetic base. The only thing that I have for a base is I have a um, lamp which has an extension arm, which is metal, and this is just sitting on that narrow extension arm. So not a very good base. And I'm in my workshop, of course, which is not that great for receiving on telescopic antennas versus an external antenna. Right now, I do not have, down here, I do not have a good external antenna outside coming in that's for VHF and UHF. It's I'm using that, those two antennas upstairs in my office. So that's what we're using for an antenna setup. Let me go back down now. Find the can the computer. There it is right there. Um, and what I'm using for a computer, I'm using this old Sony VIO laptop. It's dual core. It's about 10 years old, I would guess. Not very powerful. It's got one gigabyte of memory, and um, it's working fine with, I'm using it right now for the software, I'm using HD SDR, and that seems to work best with this dongle and this computer. Um, I did not get uh, SDR-Console to work on this setup, so I'm not using that. And right now, I'm tuned to a local FM station down on the lower part of the band, uh, down the low, lower part of the band that's usually mostly talk, not much music. I have to stay away from music when I'm recording, so that's why I'm way down here on this part of the band. And uh, it's, it's doing a pretty good job. Now, the other thing about that, the antennas that come with the dongle, is the lead-in they have, the wire, the cable, is very, very tiny. Um, I, I try to show you, but I, I can't really show you where I'm set up right now. But it's very tiny. It's probably got a lot of signal loss because it's tiny. But it seems to be working, at least on 
the strong local FM stations. Um, and the tune's fine. I mean, I could, I could really blast in a signal here if I used an external antenna that was built for VHF and UHF, which I, just, I said before, I don't have set up. So it seems to be working fine. I can tune the stations, no problem. As you can hear, and I'll turn it back up, the audio is fine. You need to consistently consult with community leaders because they're your constituents, not because they're black. Do you believe Donald Trump is really trying to reach out? And you can see that on the display here, possibly, I don't know if my camera's doing a very good job. It's a booming signal. It's That signal is really coming in strong. Again, it's about... Oh, 30 miles from me over on the other side of Tampa Bay. This is not one of the real strong FM stations. It's moderately strong. It's uh, ma mainly talk radio. Um, and if I tuned one of, which I did earlier, if I tuned one of the music stations, which are got a lot of power they're putting into it, it just, it fills the whole screen. It's so strong. So even with this rinky-dink antenna system I've got. It's doing a pretty good job. Now, I don't know how well, and yeah, I need to do a security update. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how well it would do for receiving weak signals. Typically, VHF and UHF transmissions are pretty much line of sight. So if you got, um, if you got an antenna that is close to the ground, like this one, close to the ground, you're not going to receive stations very far away on VHF and UHF. For instance, scanner radios, handheld scanner radios, which is, has a, um, a very short, you know, antenna, maybe less than a foot, um, you're only going to receive stations that are within 40 miles at tops, maybe within 20 miles. That's all you're going to receive. So, later on, when I get an outside antenna set up for VHF and UHF that comes into my workshop, I'll do some more testing on, that, on those frequencies. I'm mainly interested for this particular SDR, I'm mainly interested in its short wave performance. And if you go back to my previous shows, you can see that it did an excellent job compared to my fee fee, which is $150, it did, it compared pretty darn good. It wasn't as good, as sensitive, but it was pretty darn close. I would say within 80 to 90 percent of its capability, and only $24.95. I have a number of other dongles, some around $50, that supposedly has uh, HF and VHF, UHF capability, and they don't do very good on HF at all. As a matter of fact, they do poor. They do work, but it's really poor. Um, the, one of the biggest things they suffer from is bleed over from the medium wave bands. So this, I think, is, if you want to just get into SDR, software-defined radios, this is a good choice. $24.95 from Amazon. Use, there's a number of packages that it will work with. Uh, it actually comes with... Um, uh, no, that's the Fifi. I was going to say it comes with some software, but it doesn't. There are, if you go back to my previous shows about this particular SDR, there are a number of websites that take you step-by-step step of how to get it set up on your computer. It's pretty straightforward if you have those step-by-step -step instructions. Early on, when I was trying to get SDRs working, it was a nightmare, just a nightmare, trying to get the right driver and everything. Now, I've read that Windows 10 owners do struggle getting the drivers installed because the latest version, what I read is the latest version of Windows 10 doesn't like you to install a non-Microsoft driver. It, and the, the article I read was Windows 10, the latest version, 
would not let that person install the drivers needed for this dongle. <clears throat> Windows 10 and even Windows 7, when you plug in the dongle, it will try to install the Windows drivers it thinks are the right ones, but it's not the right ones because we're using these SDR, these dongle type SDRs for a different function than they originally were intended. I hope that didn't confuse you. But like I say, there are two or three, if you go back to my other shows, there are two or three good websites that will step you right through it. One that I remember is on swling.com. And there's an article about this dongle, a review of it, much more detailed review than I'm doing, and how to set it up. So that's the show. I just want to show you that it does work in both modes. Oh, how you, okay, let me stop it. Okay, yeah, I got it stopped. So what you have to do, you have to go to this XT IO driver section, and you have to either select direct sampling, and if you select direct sampling, that's for having the dongle tuned below 30 megahertz. And then under the direct sampling, you have two options. You have I and Q. You want to use Q. Then the thing will tune below 30 megahertz with no offset required. If you want to tune above 30 megahertz, you just go to this option, direct sampling, and you say disable. And now it will tune above 30 megahertz, with again with no offset. So that's how you go from the two bands on tuning this particular dongle. Now, like I say, there are other dongles that came out a year ago, tried to do this same thing, this direct sampling, and it did not work. And so the HF reception performance was terrible. So anyway, that's the show for today. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.